three, two, one. What's up, everybody? Well, as you can see, we got some of these chainsaws painted up. Each one's just a little different. But they, they turned out pretty good, I think. They're pretty cool. They all represent somewhat of a steel chainsaw brand, you know. But it is what it is. They look good. Good enough for what they were. At least they're not just solid orange now. I think they actually look pretty cool. I now like these better than those. But I'm going to touch these up as well. There's some painting I got to do on these before we send these out to somebody. So we're going to fix those up. I think it looks cool. I'm going to build my bathroom since my man here at, these, at uh, Metal Gear RC, who donated all this stuff, he also donated that toilet. So I'm going to build a bathroom over in this corner. And I got this from the Dollar Tree for the walls this time. And frame it up. I might, I'm not going to go all the way up to here with the walls. I'm going to keep it down here so it's like a roof over the walls that come around. So it's like a storage area in the garage. You can put RC cars on top or whatever. So that's just something little we're messing with. Now, you'll notice over here, I took these big boys back off of this truck and put the mud slingers back on it for now. Only to test it on an obstacle outside. I got one obstacle that none of my trucks can get up right now. I tried to put these on the Ecto and they won't fit the front without wheel extensions. So I couldn't run them on the Ecto. I had them on the back of it and it almost made it. But with every other tire, the Ecto could not do it. It just spun these tires. It spun the 2.2 mud slingers. It, whatever else I had on there, it just wouldn't do it. This truck could not do it with the 2.2 uh, Canyon Trails or with these rip saws. So, I think it's got the best chance now with these wheels because they have 350 grams in two of them. And then the other ones are 360 grams total. Not in them, but all together, that's what they weigh. So, I mean, that's 1,400 grams in the wheels of weight all around. So, I think if two of them was trying to do it on the Ecto, I think all four has a decent chance i'm gonna find out here in just a minute so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna to try to get this up that obstacle we're gonna make sure the sound simulator is still working right because the battery died the other day i think it started acting up so i just unplugged it i charged the battery haven't tested it since so as long as it was just a battery we'll find that out and we're gonna do donuts with the swamp boat and a big mud puddle in my driveway that's my plans let's go do that well all right guys i still probably don't know this is pretty iffy, but if any truck can do it, it's going to be with these tires, I believe. I had to try this because I'm going to be loaning these tires back to my buddy. My damn hitch is going to catch. Let me get my hitch dug out of the ground. Give it a little bit of help. Oh, okay. That's the ecto could almost get to right there, but that was it because of this little hump. Oh, we're going up it today. We're going up it today. Oh man, come on, come on. Now let me show you what makes this difficult. There's a door handle in it. <laughs> and it's caving in in the middle. I didn't notice that until just now. That's why we're not getting up at the rest of the way now. Oh, come on, come on, I don't want to flip. If I had the winch strung out, I should just string that winch out right now. Man, I can't believe I got halfway, and I bet if I had this door wasn't caving in, we get it back on the thing, come on. Ah, you know what? I gotta fix the underneath of that. I think we got a truck that can get up if it wasn't caving in from all the weight. This is a heavy rig. Well, all right. All I did was run this little board up trying to keep the sag out. That's it. I didn't move anything. I didn't change the angle. It's still to the very top, just like it was. And just trying to keep it from sagging in to see if we have a chance. And I'm sure I'll have to get it past the, the bumper hitch again. I don't feel like pulling it out. That's out of the ground, there we go. Come on now. There's a little 
sag in the carpet right there. Oh, come on. Come on. Uh, you can do it, man. I know you can do it. If you're going this far, you got to get up it. We got this other ripple in the carpet. And the door also has, the door has that design under it where there's a couple of grooves, you know what I mean? I get past it, huh? Oh boy. <laughs> Pops a willy there. Let's see if I can get it past this hump. Come on, come on. I pushed it right there, but I think it keeps catching these uh, little door ripples. The truck can do it. It ain't the track. It's the traction only. Right there, it's popping a willy, but come on. I want to see it get up there on its own. Come on. <laughs> oh, well. I mean, it's handling the angle, but I can't steer it. And then once I go over there and I steer it. Come on, come on, come on. Let me get a hold of it in the right spot. I'm trying to be. It's on there. Come on, come on, come on. Front end's lifting. So close. Here we go, little kick. I mean, I could have winched up it. That ain't the problem. Hey, look at that. There's no clearance issues. At that steep of an angle, hey, look at this. It's, I don't know if you can see that. It's not touching. The, the fibers are still standing up on the carpet right there. A little bit more traction is all it needed. And this is wet today, so I mean, what do you expect, I guess, right? Now, if I was to lower it down to, you know what, that might be a good idea. I could lower it down here, lessen the angle, make it a little easier to climb. But then when you get here, your tires are going to have to hook this and come over. And that's going to try to flip you every time. So maybe I might adjust it to that, to where you can get up it. You just gotta crest the hill at the top and that would be the challenge. I don't know. So anyway, I feel like we need to be doing some swamp boat donuts on 4S. These tires are meant for this truck though. The other ones were cool just to be big, bulky tires, but there was no performance in them, I'm gonna tell you now. Maybe rock bouncing, but not rock crawling. We got so much mud I could drive through too, but I just don't want to do it. I'll just go ahead and do it. I'm just gonna go ahead and do it anyway. That's what it's here for, right? Look how deep this is right there. I don't want to get the sound box all wet, but we're going in here. But look at this. I want to show you guys something here. Look how deep this puddle is. I'm not even hitting the deepest spots. I know where I can drive safely. strapped in pretty nice now here they there we go get her all turned on the way here turned on there four beeps well, let's get you zero again there we go so we got our four beeps <laughs> I 
broke my tailgate, but that's okay. We don't need that tailgate. We'll put a new one on it. So. All right, guys, let's let's have some airboat fun in a mud puddle. I can actually freeze it pretty good in here. Once it hits dirt, she sticks though. You can you can go in grass, but not really dirt. Dirt don't like it. it gets on the ground like say if it was weeds or tall grass you can go but it just wants to stick kind of a lot of water in on my battery box because it's not sealed tight right now so we might want to just do this every now and again because like I say the uh, can't put the screw in the way I got these two batteries rigged together and if I was out on a lake I would tape it off different <laughs> I knocked it, damn it. That was close. That was fun too. This thing's so cool. Who'd have thought you can go out in your mud puddle and start running it? Dry docked it again. Nah, right, let's see if we can just putt putt around here and stay in the water. I wonder what this system would do in a crawler. How many axles I'd break. Never mind the wrecked car over there. Filling her full of water again. Let's get that out of there one more time. Luckily, I know these batteries can take a good little bit of water on them because I run my crawlers underwater. Not too worried about it. I got to head reverse. <laughs> Dry dock. Right. Just gotta get ready to load her up, I guess. Let me see if I can do this one handed. 
Get it back there enough to be able to launch this thing and get the tow off it. <laughs> Tailgate till we get out of there, right? We keep it running that way it stays up there. It's all right, this thing is so fun. Well, all right, guys. My dinner bell has rang so it's time for me to go in and eat we're gonna head this thing on over here to the car or something we put everything away take them batteries out of there make sure they're not all soaked and wet One time we might have to go through it. Never mind all my scrap metal over there either. Got a lot of stuff to haul off now. It was going to be my Christmas money, but I'm just going to keep saving it for a while. Look at that echo. <laughs> Mud slingers, man, these things are sweet on this truck. Alright guys, please like and subscribe. Till next time, peace.